The chairman and managing director of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the first medium weight fighter will be rolled out in August 2022 and its first high speed trial will start in 2023. He also said that the metal cutting work and structural package on the medium weight fighter jet is progressing well and its production is likely to start in 2025. He also said that the AMCA 5.5 generation stealth fighter jet program will cost around $5 billion, under which the public sector company will invest 2,500 crore rupees, and two private sector companies will invest 2,500 crores, and the private companies will hold 50.5% controlling stakes in the special purpose entity, so that it does not become a government entity. The special purpose entity is usually created to complete a limited work, and it helps to isolate risk in a bigger transaction. The implementation of the AMCA project under the special purpose entity will cut procedural delays, and will help to complete the project sooner, as it allows for improved financing and a greater degree of operational control for the private company. He also added that the first prototype of the AMCA will be ready by 2026, and its production is scheduled to start by 2030. Hindustan Aeronautics and Aeronautical Development Agency are using the frontal section of the Tejas PV-1 prototype for testing a new thicker 24mm glass for the canopy for the upcoming 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters, as compared to 16mm of the Tejas Mark 1 fighters, and its feasibility will be checked at higher speeds of around 20G. The new thicker glass will have better protection and won't be requiring a major change to the cockpit, and will soon be certified from the Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification. The 4 km long rocket sled supersonic track at the Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory under the Defense Research and Development Organization will be used to test and study higher G-forces at the frontal section and also the new thicker glass. Hindustan Aeronautics had offered its naval Tejas Mark I based lift trainer to the U.S. Navy, and as per latest reports, the U.S. Naval Air Systems Command had raised some technical queries regarding the lift trainer, and Hindustan Aeronautics has cleared the queries that were raised by the U.S. Naval Air Systems Command, and now Hindustan Aeronautics is awaiting further communications from the U.S. Navy. HAL is also developing a production standard NP-5 trainer that will be used as a baseline to further develop a lift-based trainer for demonstration to the U.S. Navy. Leonardo has said that if India lifts the ban on the Italian firm, it is ready to sell its Skyward next-generation infrared search and track pods for the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters. It can search and track around 200 aerial targets, and it features air-to-ground and air-to-sea scanning modes with multiple or single target tracking for surveillance and engagement, as well as imaging for ground map assistance and navigation for landing support. Leonardo is also providing the Skyward infrared search and track pods for the South Korean KFX 5th generation fighter jet program. The Indian Navy has commissioned a 52 crore rupees automatic storage retrieval system for the efficient handling of aircraft spares, and 8 of the 17 storehouses in Goa have been modernized, while the remaining 9 storehouses will be modernized by July 2021, and this move is significant as the Navy's material organization based in Goa, is the repository for all aircraft spares of the Indian Navy, including the MiG-29K fighters. India's defence budget for the fiscal year 2021 will be revealed tomorrow, and we will see if the government has planned a major rise in India's defence budget, or a moderate rise like previous years. The army's share was almost 56% in defence budget 2019, but it still struggled with modernization because nothing was left for buying new equipment after paying for past purchases and clearing salaries and allowances. Indian military's pension bill is around $17 billion, which is much larger than Pakistan's entire defense budget of $7 billion.